Hey guys, um, today we're going to look at a truck that I just finished up for a customer of mine who owns a, uh, uh, a truck salvage of all things and uh, it was time for him to uh, get a new truck. He doesn't do a lot of miles uh, but he's real specific on what he needs so uh, I'll kind of show you the, the th thought process on why we built what we built. 2019 389 48 inch uh, flat top sleeper. They call it, they, what do they call it now? A 58 or whatever, but it's it's the old school 48. Um, legendary brown with a chocolate frame. 265 inch wheelbase. Low air leaf suspension. Um, got it on 11R245s, tall rubber. Uh, he's gonna get off road. Uh, He's gonna pull a, a RGN and or step deck, so uh, um, ground clearance is gonna be important. He, he'll be off road and getting some, getting some some rough spots. Um, Bridgestones all the way around. Hug built, 30 inch polished, uh, the 30 inch deep. Quarter fenders, 36 inch air slide. Step boxes on both sides polished locking uh, a nice deck plate did six lights in the back antenna you know back here on the back like we've been doing of course everything's bolted on the frame he's probably he I don't know that he's gonna add anything but uh, it, it's it's possible uh, polished tanks with locking caps the Phoenix LED lights we did all smoked lights I think that turned out really nice um, polished def tank cover, seven inch stacks, miter cuts on this one, polished battery box, polished air tank, premium air cleaners, did drum brakes on the back, disc on the front, um, we weren't really trying to save weight or money or anything. This truck's going to be lucky to see 100,000 miles in five years. Uh, so it just really wasn't necessary. Uh, the drums will be just fine. I, I, I want to say the truck he's told me now that he's had for 15 years, he's never put brakes on. He just doesn't put the miles on. And he's, and, and he's also not that heavy. So, uh, and he doesn't go that far, obviously, so. But did a nice, did a nice clean 18 inch Texas bumper. Uh, didn't want to do a 20, again, ground clearance, trying to keep it all up out of the way. Uh, uh, did a lot, nice little tag mount. Of course, there's polished boxes and everything on this side also. Since he'll have an RGN, um, uh, did a split tank on this side with uh, 45 gallons of hydraulic and 90 gallons of fuel so he's got plenty of fuel capacity looks nice it's clean don't have to mount a, another tank on the frame or something uh, not nearly as attractive up on the rails of course with the with the uh, brown and chocolate exterior, did, did the tan platinum interior, the brown rosewood, man, just really flows nice with the paint color. Just a good looking ride. Five sixty five twenty fifty torque performance series X fifteen Davco fuel filter um, all uh, Arctic wrap fuel lines and did the did the heavy duty extra insulation in the cabin sleeper like we do um, like we said disc brakes on the front 
uh, did the big air compressor um, the 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 regular air compressors uh rough 17.4 i want to say and cfm and uh, uh this one's a this one's a uh, 34 so that'll make make it nice if we're <clears throat> needing some air or uh doing lots of hooks Platinum interior, there's all your sleeper controls. Uh, of course, with the 48, you get the cloth covers on the on the closets. You, they don't do doors and window, window curtain. It's got the good sound system in it with you know the amp and the speaker. Did the uh, Iowa Customs seat plate in this? That'll tell you, man. That I mean, that seat gets back in the sleeper. That'll give you a good idea. But anyway, nice piece there. Um, well, I always tell everybody if you're over five eight, you really want you really want that plate, whether it's in a in an ultra cab or or a flat top. It's a it's a great piece to have. Chrome stick on the eighteen. My usual deal. All rosewood, bright bezel gauges. CB, nice 12 inch drop visor. Just a little warm this morning. Uh, I don't even think it's 10 o'clock yet. But uh, microphone, CB speaker, especially on the uh, tan interior. I love the two tone on the headliner. That's her. Just wanted to show it to you. It's, it's a little bit different than what we normally do. Not much. Uh, biggest thing being, uh, it's a it's a 48 instead of a 63 on the sleeper and and big tall rubber. But other than that, it's a a, a real owner operator spec and should serve him very very well for a long long time. It, uh, uh, you know we don't ever talk about warranties and stuff very often. The fact that he does so few miles, if, if you're one of those guys in that position, uh, they do offer a five year, 100,000 or two or three or four. You can you can mix and match that warranty any way you want at an additional cost. Uh, but, but like in this situation, that, uh, that five year 100, very inexpensive for the extra, uh, for the additional three years, because the standard warranty on it is two years 250,000 on all your Cummins components including all of your emissions uh, transmission is going to be 3300 uh, rear ends are 5750 and then it's got a, a pack car a chassis warranty which is kind of a bumper to bumper anything that Peterbilt manufactures uh, like the gauges switches uh, the HVAC all your heat and air components in anything that's Peterbilt uh, uh, that standard on that's one one hundred, and that also is upgradable uh, if you want more. And, uh, if you've got any questions on that, uh, pricing, trucks, trades, financing, uh, all that jazz, feel free to give me a call nine one eight eight zero eight five six three eight. You can shoot me a text or uh, uh, email me at info at peterbiltsteve.com. If you like these videos subscribe and it'll give you a little notification when I when I upload some more uh, 
Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, everything's Peterville Steve. Check it out. Appreciate all the comments and questions, good or bad. And uh, uh, we'll keep on rolling. I do have delivery. I'm 10 miles from a major airport. Uh, so if you want to send somebody to pick your ride up, if you want to fly and pick it up, or if I need to bring it to you, I can handle all of that. So, all right, guys, appreciate you. We'll, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.